two, one, boost for ignition, and lift off of the space shuttle Discovery, returning to the space station taken away from the the 21st century is characterized by enormous advancement in different areas of human life. However, despite its growth and development, it also faces great upheavals. Climate change, tempest, wars and rumors of wars, tragedies, and now the spread of a virus called COVID-19 where cure or vaccine is unknown up to this writing. Books, periodicals, televisions, research theories and findings, ebooks, magazines, social media sources like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Google, Yahoo, and many more. Because of too much information from different sources, sometimes we are confused which ones are reliable sources and which ones are fake. Yes, there are fake news spreading everywhere. Furthermore, taking information from sources for academic purpose or whatever purpose it may serve anyone without acknowledging the author is prohibited by law. Anyone who does this deliberately or not would be liable to the fullest extent of the law. This case is called plagiarism. Books, periodicals, televisions, research theories and findings, ebooks, magazines, and social media sources like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Google, Yahoo, and many more. Do you want to know more about it? And how to avoid such? Then this lesson is especially for you. Live from Valenzuela City, your Tito Tony. Good morning, good morning, good morning, baby. Welcome to our live stream for English Day. I am your Tito Tony saying, whatever the situations are, education must continue. Our topic today is conventions and citing sources. Wow, well, these are our specific objectives. First, appreciate citing sources by learning its importance and understanding the need to do it. And second, familiarize different capitalization rules because soon you're going to use it in writing bibliography. <clears throat> Now, before we jump into the rules of citation, we need to be familiar with the terms that we will use and be able, of course, to know what they are. Now, first, the very reason you're going to study this is because of this research. Alright? So, when we say research, it is a process of systematic inquiry that entails collection of data, documentation of critical information, 
in analysis and interpretation of that data or information in accordance with suitable methodologies set by specific fields and academic disciplines. Now, also, when we say research, it is actually a thorough investigation with five basic steps. First, the introduction or what is your paper telling about or your topic or thesis statement. Secondly is the review of related literature. What other studies are telling about your topic? You have to compare and contrast. Okay? And then third, the methodology or the methods you actually use. And then getting your results. And finally, after your result, your discussion. Alright? Secondly, citation. Citation means formally acknowledging all the sources of information that follows certain conventions or agreement. Depending on the subject explored, of course, one would not be so happy if you used his or her idea without mentioning that you have taken or borrowed it from him. Alright. Next, we have cheating. And when you say cheating, this means giving or taking of any information or material that intent of wrongfully aiding oneself or another in academic work considered in the determination of grade or outcome of a test. Right? You are familiar with that, I guess. Cheating. Also, other forms of cheating include falsifying records or data, lying, unauthorized copying, tampering, abusing or otherwise unethically using computer or other stored information. These are commonly known as academic dishonesty. Again, academic dishonesty. Yes, you heard it right. It includes stealing information from the computer or internet. Now, if you actually cheat, then this could be the result. Plagiarism. This is act, the actual action of one person of stealing or passing off one's own work or the work, ideas, or conclusion of another as if the work submitted were product of one's own thinking rather than an idea or product derived from another source, meaning getting someone's work as it is yours. Now, if you want to avoid plagiarism and you want to do citations, we need to know that we have the conventions in citing sources, agreement that is actually acceptable to most of the academics. When we say convention citing sources, well, different academic disciplines and journals have unique formatting or formatting guidelines for citing sources and formatting research reports. Remarkably, there are hundreds of different rules or guidelines for citing sources and the most popular citation styles used in colleges and different universities nationwide and even in the other countries are the MLA and APA. MLA, Modern Language Association, which is commonly required citation style by humanities professor. Okay? Humanities professor. We also have the APA style or American Psychological Association. I want to read it. APA stands for American Psychological Association, which commonly requires citation styles by education and social sciences professors. Now, what are other reasons why it is important 
to cite sources. Why? First, it signals that your readers or to your readers channel that your paper should be taken seriously as students contribution to a given academic or professional fields. Alright? It means literally equivalent of wearing a you know, tailor suit to a job interview. Imagine that people, my students, my friends, if you have started site sources, your readers will take it seriously and you have the edge. Number two, it shows that you respect other people's work enough to give them proper credit for it. Moreover, citation adds value to your work or what we call as cre your credibility and reciprocally to those you reference, you are actually validating them or their research. Number three, it helps your readers find additional information or materials if they wish to learn more about your particular topic. So, all right, people, let us check where so far you've got. Okay, so we will have exercises or exercise number one. Uh, you are just going to write true or false for this. Let me see. Number one, research report is a result of thorough investigation. Is it true or false? 10 seconds on the side end and your time starts now.
First, for all sources other than periodical titles, that is, newspaper, magazines, scholarly journals, capitalize the first word of the title in subtitle in the proper nouns only. Do not capitalize the rest. Okay, example. As you see in the board, we have the title of other sources being mentioned, personal finances, colon, for self-reliance. Now, take a look at that title. We have capitalized the first word, personal, and then the colon or the subtitle, again, capitalized the word for. Why? Because it says here, all sources, aside from newspaper clippings or other scholarly journals, just capitalize the first word of the title and the first word of subtitle and just the proper nouns. Okay. Another example, we have style check, colon, a concise guide to good writing and usage. As you notice, I only capitalize the first word of the title and the first word of the subtitle. Number two, all major words in periodical titles should be capitalized. All, all major words. Okay, example, we have the psychology today. Capitalized today. Right? Why? Because both psychology and the word today is actually a major word. And how about the others? Now, these they are. We have next example, journal of healthcare for the poor and underserved. Again, journal of healthcare for the poor and underserved. Look, I capitalize the word journal, but not the of, the preposition of. And then capitalize the healthcare for is a preposition, and then the word the or the article the. And then I capitalize the poor, the underserved, but not the word "n," which is a conjunction. All right. So take a note of this. We have the journal, the health, the care, poor, and underserved. Not capitalize those prepositions and the conjunctions, including the article that. Number three. How about article titles? In that situation, capitalize the first word of the title. First word of the title in subtitle and the proper nouns only. First word of the title, first word of the subtitle and proper nouns only. Example, take a look at this, 3 one. COVID-19, thus navigating the encounter. COVID-19, Navigating the Uncharted. Is the phrase Navigating the Uncharted actually a subtitle? No, it's not. Because title and subtitle are separated by a column. But this one is separated by a dash, meaning it is part of the main title. That is why it says here, capitalize the first word of title and subtitle and proper nouns only. I only capitalize the word COVID-19. This is actually a compound, compounded word. Navigating the charter is not a subtitle and doesn't contain any proper noun. Okay, next we have clinical course and risk factors for mortality of adult in patients with COVID-19 in Yuhan, China, a retrospective cohort study. Okay, what a title. Once again, I will read. Clinical course and risk factors for mortality of adult in patients with COVID-19 in Yuan, China. A, retro a retrospective cohort study. Now, take a look at these people. I capitalize the clinical, the word clinical, because it is the first word of the title. And then, I capitalize 
COVID-19 because specifically it is a proper noun. Okay, specific word of this pandemic. And then I'll also capitalize Yuhan in China because they are actually proper noun. Now, now name of place and country. And then I also capitalize the subtitle of the word out, the article out. Because it states here that it should be capitalized if it is first word of a subtitle. Next, the retro retrospective court study is no longer capitalized. Again, I will read, I want to, please, clinical course and risk factors of mortality of adult inpatients with COVID-19 in Yuan, China. A retrospective cohort study. Okay. Number four, how about with our journal titles? Okay, again, journal titles. For journal titles, use italics, italicized, in capitalized all major words. Example, American Journal of Distance Education. Okay, look at this. I capitalized the American the Journal the distance education, but not the preposition of. Number two, Philippine Journal of Allied Health Sciences. Take a look at this. I capitalized the first word, Philippines, because aside from it is the first word of the title, Philippines is the name of country, that is why it is a proper noun. And I also capitalized the word journal, the allied, the health and the sciences, but not the preposition of. And of course, as it is required, italicize. Now, number five, how about book titles? It says here, use italics and capitalize the first word of the title and subtitle and proper nouns only. Almost same. But proper nouns only. Again, the first word of the title, first word of the subtitle, and proper nouns. Alright, example number one. It says here, student cheating and plagiarism in the internet era, a wake up call. Again, student cheating and plagiarism in the internet era, subtitle, a wake up call. I capitalize the first word of the title is student. But not cheating, not plagiarism, but I capitalize the first word of the subtitle, which is the article of wake up call. Okay? And then, of course, I italicize. First word only, student, and the article of. Because there is no proper noun in the sentence. Okay, next, number, example number two. Writing and grammar. Communication and action. I capitalize writing, grammar, communication, in action. But not the, the article element, the conjunction, and. Okay. So I guess that is enough for you about citing sources. There are actually a lot of you, a lot for you to learn. There are a lot of topics included in research, in citation, in bibliography. But you are not, we are not going to discuss it today. You will in succeeding lessons. Because people, this is a little complex lesson, but you have to take it because you are being prepared for more challenging activities in the nearest future. Get ready. When you go to grade 9, grade 10, okay, I am sure you will, you will all be ready for these coming challenges and activities. And always, people, bear in mind the rules in capitalization. And as you dig deeper for more citing sources, I wish you were able to recognize and retain what you have learned from me today. And always remember as well, do not cheat. Do not try to attempt academic dishonesty Always acknowledge your sources. Cite them. Always do that. Now we move to exercise number two, letter A. Now it says here, fill in the blank.
plants with correct words to complete its meaning. Hey, choices are plagiarism, credibility, comma, URL, column, book, APA, citation, surname, trust, parenthesis. Okay, those are your choices. Number one, copying someone else's work without acknowledging the source is called black. And second starts now. Wow. 
Where? Okay, all of it, all of the first letter of the words are being capitalized. Okay, number three. How about the article titles? The title is Global Research on Coronavirus Disease. How are you going to do that? Okay, 10 seconds go. Primary source. 
sources are direct or first-hand evidence. These primary sources are the sources that you could directly collect by your hand. Or you could also collect it from other people who are also directly involved in a certain topic. The examples are, it could be letters, journals, diaries, the actual photographs, the newspaper, the actual interview, the survey, and well, some experiments. If you get it directly to people who have direct access, that is primary evidence or primary information, especially if you get it by hand from the people involved. Okay? And when you say secondary sources, these are anything that describes, interprets, evaluates, or analyzes information from the primary sources. Okay? They are actually the people or the group that analyze a certain information or a certain source from the first or the, the, or the first head or the primary sources. Okay, examples are books, articles, documentaries that synthesize the information in a topic, or it could also be synopsis of a review of a book. Okay, description of an art or historic things, review, essay, and anything that evaluates or interpret a certain topic. Meaning it is not person, it is only being evaluated or interpreted. That is secondary sources. Okay, so we have question number two from Parada National High School. The question is, how do I cite a source I found in another source? How do I cite a source I found in another source? The answer is, citing a source that you found in another source is known as using a secondary source. In that situation, always cite the original source because the original source is where the information came first. Okay. If possible, read the original source because that is your main source, the primary source of the information. If that is not possible, if you cannot read it, if you are not able to find it, then uh, cite both of your author, the primary source, and the secondary source who actually just cited the primary source. Okay, the original source as your primary source and the other as your secondary. Cite the both of them. Okay, from my son National High School, question number three. What format is best accepted for our research? What format? As long as it is accepted in the conventions, it's citation that will do. But if you are referring people to standards in styles, that could be it. If you are referring with standard styles, then we have font styles of Times New Roman, font size of number 12, double space in each paragraph, Indent or indention in each paragraph, of course, paginated and with a margin of one inch or 2.4 centimeter. Now, uh, you have to take note of this. You still have to ask your teachers or your professors to be sure of what he or she prefers. Sometimes it varies. What I'm telling you is the standard styles and formats. Okay, thank you for that question. Question number four from Disciplina Village, Pignay National High School. The question is, how do we avoid plagiarism? Okay, the answer is, first, follow the conventions for citation and references that your discipline 
requires. Always follow conventions in citation. And always remember to counter or reference actually your site second. Include both in text or in text citation and complete your reference list. Third, practice good research and writing techniques. How? Okay, you have to study, you have to pay focus, especially if you're already grade 10, grade 9. Pay focus to your teachers and always review the proper citation because. You still have to learn more. And there are actually different citations and research topics that we are yet to discuss. You will learn all of those through your teachers. And you may also ask your follow-up teacher about this. Okay, question number five. The last question from Punturi National High School. Thank you. I like this question. Do we need to cite internet sources? The answer is a big yes. Internet sources offer vast amount of information. We ask almost anything from Google, watch anything from YouTube, and the likes. Now, as you watch this uh, live FB, well, it's gonna live for reading really English, as you watch the introduction part of our session today, there are actually videos which we derive from the internet, particularly in the YouTube. Now, as you see on the upper part of our screen, here, there are references or links that is being shown. Why? How to do that? Or how, to, how do we do the citation from the internet sources? First, search for the URL of or or the internet address. If necessary, include the, the complete information you can get from the person or from the group or whichsoever uh, are the sources of information. Always the search the URL, search the link, and if possible, search their names or all of the other information from them. But the bottom line is always cite them. Always acknowledge your sources. Okay, people! Woo. For other activities, refer on the items from your modules and continue learning. Anyway, your subject teachers will further help you by answering your queries. Those questions that you are typing at Kuli, if I, will, I weren't able to answer it, then you better ask your follow-up teachers. And do not hesitate to ask. Okay. And now, people. Thank you for having me today, amigos, my friend. It's been a happy day of learning English. See you next time. And this is your Tito Tony saying, Ano man ang sitwasyon, tuloy ang edukasyon dahil dito sa Valenzuela, my disciplina. Woo! Thank you, bye!